Hello and welcome back to another session of class 6 mathematics. Today we are going to understand the concept of using large numbers in measurements. I am your mentor Shurjit and you are watching my YouTube channel Econometric Day. No drama, no confusion, but only education. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. Now, students of class 6, today we are going to focus, we are going to understand the concept of using large numbers in measurements. Today's part is part 6. Okay, it is a continuing class going on, and before this, we have completed till part 5. And we are going to understand how the large numbers are being used for measuring length, for measuring mass and for measuring the capacity. The first one is measuring length. How we use the large numbers in measuring length. So for measuring length, we use the units millimeter, centimeter, meter, kilometer. Generally, we use this one more are there okay we use millimeter that is mm centimeter cm meter m kilometer km okay for measuring the length how now suppose if i write one kilometer now one kilometer means how much meter if i want to make it now one thousand meter if i make one meter one meter means how much centimeter so it will be 100 centimeter now one centimeter means how much uh, millimeter so it will be 10 millimeter now how i am writing these things actually it is like this way first kilometer then hectometer then decameter then meter then decimeter then centimeter and the last one is millimeter now if you see if i write one kilometer then one kilometer means how much millimeter how many millimeter so if you have to put here zeros okay like this way clear now if i write one hectometer okay then how many millimeter one hectometer means one two three four clear if i want to write one meter okay that means how many centimeter 100 centimeter like this way so what we do when we go from kilometer to millimeter we must multiply okay and if we go from this side from millimeter to kilometer we will divide Clear. Now, 1 kilometer, if I want to go to millimeter, from kilometer, if I want to go to millimeter, or from kilometer, I want to go to millimeter. So, I am going from this side. So, 1 kilometer, that means it will be how much? 1000, we will multiply, because from here to here it is 1000. So, 1 into 1000, when I multiply, it becomes 1000 meter. Now, 1 meter, I will go from 1 meter to centimeter. So, 1 meter, if I write here, suppose if I write here 1 meter, see here I have written, okay, and I will go to centimeter. So, that means I will multiply 1 into 100 and it will become 100 centimeter. Now, if I want to go from 1 centimeter to millimeter, then I have to multiply with what? So, when we are moving from kilometer towards that direction, hectometer, decameter, meter, then we have to multiply. And if we want to come from millimeter to kilometer, we have to divide. Okay. Understanding? Now, we will move on to the next one. Now, we are going to understand measuring mass using large numbers, how we can measure the mass. So, we generally use what? We generally use milligram, mg, gram, that is g, kilogram, kg, okay. So, 
if I take one example, 1 kg. Now, 1 kilogram, okay, is how much gram or how many grams, okay. So, 1, we will multiply with what? Because kilogram, hectogram, decagram and then gram. So, 1 and these are empty, we will put. So, that means I have to multiply with 1000. So, 1000. So, what I get here? 1000 gram. Clear? If I want to go for 1 gram. So, 1 gram means how many milligram? Okay. So, milligram, 1 gram. So, after gram, what is there? Decigram, centigram and then milligram. Okay. So, 0, 0, 0. So, 1 into 1000. So, it becomes 1000 what milligram. Okay. So, like this we proceed. I told you when we move this side, we will multiply. And if we move from this side to this side, we will divide. Same thing. Okay. Understanding or no? That means 1000 uh, 1, or if I want to write 1000 milligram means how much gram? Then 1000 divided by 1000 that means 1 gram. Clear? Now we will understand how we use large numbers in measuring capacity. Okay. So, capacity we use generally we use the units what liter, L, milliliter, ml, then kiloliter, KL. Okay. Suppose if I take 1 kiloliter. Okay. And then it will be how many uh, liters? So, 1 we will multiply with 1000 and it will become what? 1000 liter. Now, 1000 liter, if I want to convert it, okay, into 1000 liter, okay, if I want to convert it into uh, milliliter, then again I will multiply 1000 into again 1000, okay. So, it will become 1 followed by 6 zeros, okay. So, what you get? 10 lakh milliliter. Why uh, 10 lakh milliliter? Because if you see here, kiloliter, okay, hectoliter, decaliter, liter, deciliter, centiliter, milliliter. Clear? So, 1 kiloliter means what? How many liters? 1000 liters. Now, if I want to go here again, so, see here, 1 followed by 6 zeros. Clear or no? So, from here, I can move here also. So, we have to multiply. So, I think the concept of measuring length, mass and capacity is clear. Okay. Now, we are going to solve sums. So, students of class 6, we are going to now solve exercise 1.2. And the first question is, Compare the following measurements and insert less than, greater than or equal to symbol. Here fill in the blanks are here. You have to write here either greater than or less than or equal to. This sign is uh, less than. This one is greater than. This is equal to. Okay. So, 4.5 meter and here it is 150 centimeter. So, let us see 4.5 is bigger or smaller or equal to okay and you can see here here meter given here centimeter given so we cannot compare okay because the units are different we can compare only when the units both the units are same okay but the units are not same this is meter this is centimeter so we have to make the units same let us do a rough and then write here the answer so, what I will do? 4.5 meter. Okay. Now, 4.5 meter means 4.5. If I want to go for centimeter, I have to multiply with 100. Why 100? Because you can see meter, decimeter, centimeter. So, 1 meter means 100 centimeter. So, that's why 100. Now, when we will multiply, see nicely this one. Okay. So, here two zeros are here. 
So if two zeros are here, the point is here. The point will move two numbers. One number, no number means, no digit means another zero and the point will come here. So ultimately it will come what? 450 and centimeter. Clear? So 450 centimeter, this is 150 centimeter. So obviously 450 centimeter is big. So we will write here greater than sign. The second one, number B, 420 kilometer dash 42 lakh meter. So which one is big or smaller than or greater than? Let us see. Kilometer, meter. The units are not same. We have to make the units same to compare. So 420, suppose 420 kilometer. Now 420 kilometer, I have to convert it into meter. And 1 kilometer means how many meters? 1000. So we will multiply with 1000. And when we multiply with 1000, it becomes meter 42 followed by four zeros. So it becomes meter. So here we will give the comma. Okay. So it is coming 4 lakh 20,000 meter. But this is 42 lakh meter. So this one is smaller. So we will write smaller than. Clear? Now we will solve number C. 130 centimeter are 13 millimeter. So the units are not same. We have to make it same. So 130 centimeter if i want to convert it into millimeter 1 centimeter means 10 millimeter so 130 i will multiply with 10 so it becomes 1300 0, 0, and it will become 1300 millimeter and it is 13 millimeter so obviously 1300 millimeter is greater than 13 millimeter so here the symbol will be greater than then number d so c finished now number d 2800 gram 28 milligram we will make the unit same so 2800 gram from gram if i want to go to milligram i have to multiply so 2800 into 1000 and it will become milligram so what it will come 2800000 so milligram so from gram to milligram i have to multiply with 1000 why gram then decigram then centigram then milligram so you have to multiply with 1000 so obviously this one is bigger than 28 milligram so it will be greater than clear now we will move on to the next sum that is question number e but before that those students who are new in my channel i would like to request them to please give a like share this video among your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe it really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you and don't forget to press the all notification bell so that whenever i upload such videos you will get the notifications first now let us come back 250 gram and this is 2.5 kg so this is in gram this is in kg i have to make it okay the units i have to make it same so now i will take this one 2.5 kg so from 2.5 kg i will make it into gram so it will be multiplied with 1000 and it will become gram. So if you multiply the same funda, so 25, okay. Now you see here, three zeros are there. You can put here three zeros, okay. But now coming here after point, here is only one digit. So from this side, the point will be here. So ultimately it will come how much? 2500 gram, okay. So 2500 gram. So 2500 gram and this is 250 gram. Obviously 250 is smaller than 250 gram is smaller than 2500 gram. So we will write here smaller than symbol. 
Then next one, 2450 gram and this is 3.45 kg. So again, 3.45 kg if I want to convert it into gram. So 3.45 into 1000 gram and it will become 345 and three zeros are there. But the point after point, how many digits are there? Two digits. So the point will be from this side after two numbers or two digits. We will say not numbers, two, four, five, zero, and it will become what gram. So now see two, four, five, zero gram. That is also two, four, five, zero gram. So both are same only. So we will put here equal to sign. So I think question number E and F you have understood nicely. Now you see question number G, 1G, 3 liter and this is 300 milliliter. We have to make the unit same. So 3 liter, 3 liter, if I want to convert it into milliliter, I have to multiply with 1000. So 1000 and it becomes milliliter. So how much, how much it comes? 3000 milliliter. So 3 liter means 3000 milliliter and 3000 milliliter is obviously bigger or greater than 300 milliliter. So we will write, give here symbol greater than, clear. Next one, 2.3 liter and this is given 23,000 milliliter. So let us convert 2 point or 2.3 liter. 2.3 liter. Now 2.3 liter, I will convert it into milliliter. So 2.3 from liter to milliliter, I have to multiply with 1000 and it becomes milliliter. So 2, 3, then followed by three zeros and the point after point one digit. So the point will be here from this side and it becomes what? 2300.0 no need of writing so milliliter so how much it comes 2300 milliliter 2.3 liter means 2300 2.3 liter means what 2300 milliliter and this is what 23000 milliliter so obviously 23,000 milliliter is greater and this is smaller. So what will write smaller than? So here what symbol will come? Smaller than symbol will come. Okay. Now you see 9,000 milliliter, 9 liter. Now for this, let us do it like this way. 9,000 liter and this is milliliter. Okay. So milliliter, if I take 9,000 milliliter I want to convert it into liter then 9000 I will divide by 1000 now you will tell how it is because I told you see here liter then deciliter then centiliter then milliliter okay so from milliliter see here milliliter from milliliter I want to go to liter so I told you from this side, if I want to go, I have to divide and dividing means 1, 2, 3, 1000, I have to divide by 1000. So if I divide and it will become liter. So what it comes? It comes 9 liter. So 9000 milliliter means only 9 liter and 9 liter, this side also 9 liter. So it is same. So equal to, okay. So the first sum that compare the measurements and insert the symbols greater than, less than and equal to. Okay, I think you have understood. You practice nicely. Thank you for watching this video. Keep smiling, keep practicing and keep sharing my videos with your friends and group circle.